Hey, good morning, family. Pastor Artie here with your minute and coffee. How do you handle things when it comes to uh, promises? Do you dwell on the promise more than the problems, or do you dwell on the problems more than the promise? You know, now here's the thing. You know, Abraham is a great example of how we handle promises and how we should think on them. Go with me to Romans chapter 4, starting in verse 18, and it says, Whom against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken, so that thy seed be. And be not weak in faith, and consider not his own body, now dead, when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. You know, Abraham had every reason to doubt that he was going to be the father of many nations. In this passage, we find out that he's over 100 years old, and Sarah is pretty darn close. You know, it said that her womb was dead. <laughs> and at 100 years old, I don't know very many guys that are 100 years old looking to have kids. I mean, my gosh, I'm in my 60s, and I don't want kids anymore. I would rather minister to them than, than have them. <laughs> I want to be able to minister to them and give them back to the families and their parents. But do we give attention to the problem, or do we give attention to the promise? You know, Abraham stood on the faith of God's word when he said, you were going to be the father of many nations. Your seed was going to be as the sands of the sea, so many as the stars of the sky. And he took faith in that. He took trust and said, you know what? God's going to do it. But here he was almost 100 years old and things were just starting to happen. You know, we need, how do we respond? How do we respond to this? We need to respond accordingly. We need to respond like Abraham did in faith. You know, do we say, great is thy faithfulness, O God? Or, thanks a lot, hope it happens. I don't know about you, but God's grace is faithfulness. It is so faithful. It's always there. It always has been. Always will be. You know, we need to take time today. And I'm encouraging all of you to take time today to go to the Word and start looking up the promises God has for you today. Are you having financial problems? The answer in the promise is in God's Word. Are you having issues with maybe feeling depressed? The answer is in God's Word. His promise is there. I will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed upon me. What else are you troubled with? Physical issues? Man, I'm, I'm right there. If you, if you can't raise your hand and say, you know, I'm having physical problems, you're lying to yourself. We all have physical problems. Aches, pains, soreness, weakness of the mind. <laughs> I mean, we have, we have problems galore. Guess what? The promise is in God's word. He says he's going to keep you in perfect health. So many times we look to the world to answer our problems. And we then focus in on the problems of this world and in our lives and forget <clears throat> that the promise of God is yes and amen. His promises are right here in this book, guys. Take time today. Read his word. Know that we're going to have problems in this life. You know, he said, you're going to have tribulations, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome them all. There is nothing God hasn't taken from you. All those ugly things that you're going through, loneliness, depression, health, you know, finances, all those things he has taken from you. And he's given you his promise. The promise of life in him and through him. 
So Father, today in Jesus' name, I pray for everybody out there who may be going through some kind of issue or problem in their life. Father, I pray that you would help them to seek out the promise of your word and that you show them by your word how you've already taken care of the problem. And you've given them in place a promise. A promise of health, a promise of financial success, a promise of well-being, a promise of whatever. No matter what they're going through, Lord, show them through your word that you've taken care of them and that you've given them the promise of newness of life. You're, they are new creations in Christ. If they're in Christ Jesus, they're a new creation. So they need to start living as new creations, Father. And we thank you for all that you're doing in their lives. And I'm just looking forward to hearing praise reports. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys. Linda and I love you. We're praying for you. The staff here at Rock, we are lifting you guys up constantly before the Lord that you will be given the promise that God has for you today. God bless you guys. We'll talk to you later. I'm going to go finish my coffee. It's kind of cool out here. And my throat's already getting raspy. I love you guys, but I got a promise. God gives me health, man. It's gone in Jesus' name. Love you guys. Bye.